understand it. This torpedo firing switch was working great until he took sight on that sub and then nothing. Uh, for once, we let it nip off the hook. The question now is, how do we get off the hook with Binghamton? <laughs> oh, no, wouldn't you know it? Old Leadbottom's waiting for us on the dock. Now, look, when we get in, let me do the talking, will you? Huh, Chuck? Oh, sure, Skip. I still don't get it. Normally, all you have to do is just touch this button real light and pow, those torpedoes take off like a shot. That fish is heading right for the landing. Captain Binghamton, look out! Well, I fixed it. <laughs> See this speck right here? Oh, yes, sir. Here, I'll, I'll get it. Now, don't you move a muscle, sir. Here. Ow! <laughs> you clumsy, what's wrong with you? That's not a fly. That's your next duty station. You read me? Your next duty station. Well, well now, you got to admit, sir, it's shaped like a fly. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Captain. That's your Atuva. And the nymph fleet uses that sandbar for target practice every time they sail by, sir. Uh-huh, and I am going to use it as a one-man lookout station. Or should I say a one-klutz lookout station? Oh, but, sir, putting Mr. Parker on there is practically like I did... Well, it's, it's just like a death sentence. That's right, Mikhail, and the punishment fits the crime. This squirrel has made his last attempt on my life, believe me. <laughs> well, I'd like to see where I'm going again, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to wait for the dips. I'm going to kill you. No, 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 sir. No, no. Wait a minute, sir. It was just an accident. Hold it. Oh, Captain Binghamton, sir. Sir, I've got the most amazing news. A transport plane to Australia was just forced down here with engine trouble. And, sir, guess who's aboard? What are we going to do now? Play 20 questions? Why are you barging in here No, sir, for? please, sir, this is very important. Three of the passengers were canteen girls on their way to Sydney, Australia to work in the servicemen's club. And, sir, one of them says she's your niece. I don't care. She says she's the Queen of Sheba. I... My niece? Yes, sir. Uh, pardon me, sir. Cynthia? I'd like to see where well, I'm going. Oh, for goodness sake. I, I didn't expect you here. Well, I don't know oh. for sure, sir. Oh! 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 Get him out of here. Start packing before I really lose my temper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, but, sir, won't you give Mr. Parker a break, yes, sir? I'll give him a break from one ear lobe to the other. Now, get him out of here. All right, all right. You hurt the captain. Go! Wait, go! Uh, you oh, please go. Right. Here we go. Get him out. Oh. Sorry, Mr. You're all right? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? I was in a big hurry. Cynthia, my dear, I'm so good. I beg your pardon for your pressing my vaccination. I'll press you. Mikhail, I told you to get this butter brain out of here. Sir, we were just going. Oh, Uncle Wally, they've been so nice. How are you? Oh! Boys, boys. Get them. Get them. Thank you, Anthony. You're very nice. I am? Well, see, somebody in your family appreciates me. Get out of here. I mean, uh, dismissed. Have a good day. Yes. Packing. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> nice meeting Bye. you, ma'am. Uh, well, my dear, let me look at you. You do look lovely. What a surprise this is. My favorite niece dropping in out of the blue. And oh, isn't that wonderful? We're going to have to show her a good time, aren't we, Elro? You can count on that, sir. <clears throat> If uh, you forgive me for putting it this way, Miss Prentice, I play an absolutely wonderful game of Chinese checkers. <laughs> well, that's just well, Lieutenant, but I've got a lot of studying to do. Well, Roy, you don't know this, but my niece is a very educated young lady. She already has an M.A. in anthropology. Anthropology? Oh, well. That's the reason I took my canteen duty tour in the South Pacific, so that I could study the aboriginal types. Oh. Look out, Elroy. She's staring at you. <laughs> Me? 
<laughs> well, you have to excuse me. I'm going to go back to my quarters and get settled. I'll, I'll call you. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And I'm, wonderful. And I'm going to show you this a marvelous time, my dear. Good. See you Bye. later. Bye now. Goodbye. Oh, I love that girl. Oh, she does have a lot of charm, sir. And brains, too. Yes, yeah, she does. And her mother is loaded. Oh, that's too bad, sir. Has she been drinking long? Drinking? You nitwit. She doesn't... She's rich. <laughs> she hears what a wonderful time I've shown her daughter. She's going to thank me from the bottom of her pocketbook. I'm afraid I don't quite understand that. But... Don't you see? After the war, when I need a loan to go into business, then I... What am I explaining it to you? You just make sure that you take her out on a date tonight and every night that she's here. Oh, don't you worry about that, sir. I'll take care of that. And... <laughs> Who knows? If all goes well... Maybe I'll be calling you Uncle Wally, too. <laughs> Uncle Wally. <laughs> Uncle, wouldn't that be something? Yes, sir. Oh, oh get, get out of here. <laughs> Wally. Skip, there's got to be somewhere kind of no lead bottom out of this. Yeah, sure there is, Skip. Maybe if you talk to him. Oh, yeah, Binghamton's going to do us a favor. Well, now, just a minute. Binghamton might just be able to do somebody a favor at that. Ah, come on, Skip. He wouldn't do his own mother a favor if a life depended on it. Look, I'm not talking about Binghamton's mother. I'm talking about his niece. His niece? That's right. She might just be able to get your orders changed, baby. <laughs> now, why would you do a thing like that, Skip? I hardly know the girl. Well, that's right. But she's going to get to know you a whole lot better. Won't you turn on that old Parker charm? <laughs> you know, a few sweet nothings whispered in her ear. <laughs> no, I don't know, Skip. Last time I tried to whisper sweet nothings to a girl, I got my nose caught in her ear ring. <laughs> Come on, a handsome bachelor like you? Why, why, just one little sexy twitch of that eyelid and Cynthia will be begging Binghamton not to ship you out. Listen, you're right, right. Miss Hiller. Mr. She won't be able to resist you. Uh-huh. Hey, you really think so? I mean, a uh, sexy twitch, huh? That's hey. it! Hey. Believe me, Miss Prentice, I've uh, never met a girl like you before. There's such mystery in your eyes. Lieutenant Carpenter, report to base operations immediately. <laughs> Lieutenant Carpenter, report to base operations. On You'll have to excuse me, Cynthia. Duty coughs. Lieutenant Carpenter, no. report to base operations immediately. Bye. <laughs> Belfort. Okay, Casanova. Go on on there and do your stuff the way Virgil showed you. And just remember the three S's. Smooth, suave, and sophisticated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, well, uh, well, I uh, just wanted to see how you're doing. Uh, how are you doing? Well, fine. See, you're doing fine. You're, you're doing uh, all right. Uh, well, you want to... Uh, oh, uh, can I uh, offer you a swab? Uh, swab. Uh, cigarette. Uh, swab. Cigarette. Oh, here. Allow me. <laughs> I uh, picked this up in uh, Paris. <laughs> I uh, do that a lot in Paris. <laughs> here you go. Uh, you want to take the one on the... Uh, it, it's a no smoking area in, in... well uh enough this small talk um nice night out isn't it um why don't we just uh sit here on the bench and then uh, enjoy it together the uh uh moon the stars and uh, uh the, the knot hole knot hole i got my thumb in a knot hole <laughs> it, it's not don't worry now i'll uh, have it it's just a uh, matter of there. Here we are. Uh, uh, maybe I better uh, give it up. Well, uh, uh, why, why don't you tell me about yourself? Oh, let's not talk about me. Actually, you're much more interesting. I am. I am? I mean, I'm, uh, I am. Oh, you certainly are. As a matter of fact, I never thought I'd ever meet anybody quite like you. You, you, you didn't. <laughs> well, uh, Mother always said I was different. <laughs> oh, you're a lot more than that. In fact, it's hard to believe somebody like you still exists. It is. I, I bet it is. 
Well, uh, I'm really not, not that special. I'm just like any other <laughs> suave, uh, sophisticated, smooth <laughs> American uh, kid. <laughs> See, I fall down and go boom just like anybody else. Oh, now that I've found you, I'm not going to let you go for a minute. Come on, let's go back to my quarters. Right. Wait a minute, your quarters? Oh, now, wait a minute, you got me all wrong. I'm not that kind of kid. Uh, I'm teaching him how to operate? Yeah, it's a little offbeat, but he does have a technique, all right. Uh, now, look, you come another step closer to me and I'll scream. I just can't believe this. I have a cranial capacity of 1,220 centimeters. You? And look at that sloping forehead. The high cheekbone. The weak chin. The sunken eyes. Uh, well, you see, I haven't been too well lately. I can hardly believe it. You bear an amazing resemblance to the Peking man. I do. Uh, uh, well, now, that's funny. Uh, my mother told me our folks came from Rhode Island. <laughs> well, uh, I gotta get going. It sure has been swell. <laughs> now, a lot of personals in there. Now, please, Ensign Parker. Charles, just, I, I must examine you. I don't want anybody else to know about my discovery. Brother, what an operator. Skip, you better go down there and give them the clincher before they barricade the door. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Oh, Charles, please. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to measure your trapezius. Uh, it, well, it's doing fine. I measured it this morning, and it's growing like a weed. <laughs> oh, will you please get down from there? Oh. Uh, hi there. Uh, I'm uh, sorry to break it up, kids, but... Uh, uh, Chuck, don't you think you'd better get your gear packed? Packed? Now? Or what for? Chuck, you mean to tell me you didn't tell Miss Prentice about Captain Binghamton shipping you out first thing in the morning? Well, I, I couldn't work it into the conversation. <clears throat> well, he can't go now. I'm on the verge of making a very important anthropological discovery. Anthropological discovery? Oh, yes. Well, that's too bad, ma'am. But, uh, you see, your uncle's a very stubborn man, and uh, none of us could get him to change his mind. Oh, well, maybe not. But he'll listen to me. Don't you worry, my little specimen. You're not going anywhere. Hey, let me help you. Ooh, Chuck, you're a magician. <laughs> you got that captain's niece wrapped right around your little finger. Well, anybody with a sloping forehead could have done the same thing. <laughs> But, my dear, what do you mean I can't ship Parker out? That nitwit is a menace to the entire war effort. That's not important, Uncle Wally. Scientifically speaking, he's a magnificent specimen. Of what? A ring-tailed baboon? Chronologically, he may fit somewhere between the great apes and the Cro-Magnon man. I don't care if he's a cross between Tarzan and Rima the bird girl. He's shipping out in the morning. Well, all right, Uncle Wally. If you insist. Just don't know what Mother will say when she hears about this. Her, her, her mother? Her, you mean Martha? You know. you know how Mother is. She may never forgive you for coming between me and the only man I've ever been interested in. Uh, uh, the only man you've ever been interested in? I, but I, I don't see any need, my dear, to, to bother your mother with a thing like this. Um, perhaps you're right. Parker can stay for a few more days. A few more days would never be enough, Uncle Wally. I need months, maybe years. Months, years? Oh, Uncle Wally, I could spend a lifetime with him. He's such a challenge. A lifetime with that clutch? Oh, Uncle Wally, thank you. I can hardly wait to tell Charles the good news. Good night. Uh, oh. She must be putting me on to spend a lifetime with that dodo. It, it almost sounds as if she wanted to marry him. She wouldn't do that. She couldn't do no, 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 no. She wouldn't marry that bird brain. Parker, no. He'll never get in my family. Never. No, never. Are you who, Gladys? It's me, it's Wallikins. I bet that little minx is waiting in the other room for me. Gladys! Hi, Uncle Wallace. Welcome home from the war. 
Parker, what are you doing in my house? Huh? Oh, uh, our house, Uncle Wally. Cynthia and I live here now, too, you know. Well, over my dead body, you live here. Whoever gave you an idea like that? Ho, ho, ho. Who? Martha, that's who. <laughs> my mother-in-law. Your sister-in-law. Old money bags. <laughs> Old money bags or not, I am not gonna put up with this outrage. <laughs> Wally, baby! Oh, boy! You're a sight for sunrise! <laughs> this calls for a real drink, baby. <laughs> oh, no, Mikhail! You, what are you doing in my house? Well, well, didn't Chucky Baby tell you, Wally, baby? We're not gonna move in the house, kid. We're gonna move in the guest house. <laughs> we are gonna, who is we? What a crazy pad. Hey! Greetings, fellow veterans. It's old lovable Lester, returning from the wars. Which way to Miguel, you get this zoot zoot bum out of here before I... Yeah, she is a sense to get your transfer canceled. Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Oh, yes, Captain. Yes. Anything wrong? Wrong. Wrong isn't the word for it, Mikhail. If you think that I'm going to let that imbecile Parker marry into my family, then you've got another thing coming. I wouldn't let Parker marry Cynthia if he was the last crow magnet on Earth. Uh, 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 marry your niece? Uh, uh, Mr. Parker? Uh, Cynthia? Don't you play coy with me, Mikhail. And you're going to pay for the vase, too. How do you like that? <laughs> Parker is shipping out to Yoratuba at 0900 hours in the morning, and they're never going to see each other again. Never, never, never. <laughs> hey, Chuck. What did you do to that gal? I mean, you never told us that she wants to marry you. I did. Well, well, now, you got to believe me. I didn't touch her. Well, now, that day must have flipped. Yeah, just one date and she wants to get hitched. Well, I sure shook up Binghamton. Of all of the lousy breaks. Well, I guess I'd better go pack again. Uh, now, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. There must be some way out of... Look, the only reason that Binghamton is shipping you out is to keep you from marrying his niece, right? Uh, I didn't touch her. Well, I know, I know. But, but supposing we convinced this girl anthropologist to call off the wedding, huh? Binghamton would be so grateful, he'd have to take you off the hook. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It. well, as you'll just ease off, I'll tell you. It's all very simple. Tell us. If she wants a caveman, we'll give her one. Thank you. Uh, uh, please, ma'am, it's not too late to turn back. Oh. Well, listen, honest, we know Mr. Parker much better than you do. Oh, don't be silly. We get along just fine. Well, okay, ma'am, he's in there. But don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, for heaven's sake. Gave me a start there. Well, I just had to see you today. I came 
over. Uh, ah, I want woman. Charles, for heaven's sakes, control yourself. I just want to ask you a few questions. Now, Charles, tell me, where were you born? Uh, Cleveland. Uh, <coughs> ah, bah! I ain't that one question. Ah, ah! Oh, for heaven's sake. I want a woman. You went ah. this way last night. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Charles, what's the matter with you? What are you acting like this? Ah, oh, help, help, somebody help me. Did I hear somebody yell for help? Chuck, who turned you loose? Are you all right? Come on, sir. Stand back. Heel. Your heel. Heel. I not want heel. I want woman. Man, he's horrible. Yes, we all know about the ensign. That's why we keep him under wraps until sundown. Grab him, men, and chain him to the wall. Surround him. No idea. I never realized. Yes, he even fooled the Navy doctors, man. <laughs> Condition red! Condition red! Oh, yeah. Too much for us! Get over there! Oh, run, miss! Run! It's your only chance! Oh. <laughs> It takes care of that romance. Wow, but... was Mr. Parker a beast? Uh, He's off a hook for sure. Ah, it's an Oscar-winning performance if ever I... Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> what would you know about an Oscar-winning performance? How about, how about All the... right, you kidnappers, where is she? Where, where, where? Oh, 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 you mean your niece, sir? Oh, she's fine. Fine. <laughs> what in the name of John Paul Jones was that? I won't tell the parrots. Parrots, yes, sir. The, the jungles are full of them today, sir. <laughs> I demand to you know what you've done with my niece. Oh, she's fine. She's fine, sir. She just uh, went for a nice little stroll in the jungle. Oh, a stroll. I'll send you my dear. What's wrong? Are you all right? Oh, Uncle Wally, thank goodness you're here. Oh, just tell me what they've done to you and they'll hang. I promise oh, you. Oh, it's not them, Uncle Wally. It's that awful, horrible man. What man? Point him out to me. I'll tear him apart. Oh! Oh, oh, no, 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 Uncle Wally, you've got to be kidding. I would marry him if my life depended on it. Hey, how about that? Yeah, I, I told you, Captain, uh, nothing to get so worked up about. <laughs> well, you told me you were willing to spend months, years, your lifetime with him. To study, yes. But to marry, ugh. <laughs> Just imagine what Mother will say when I tell her about this. Uh, hey, hey, your mother? I know there's, there's no need to tell your money. Hey, your mother. No, wait a minute, Captain. Wait. Hey, look, you should be all smiles now that the marriage is off. Yeah, and I'll write an apology to Cynthia's mother. What more do you want? What more do I want? I want my hands around your dirty little neck. Oh, no, 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 You'll swing, friend. Oh, why did I ever leave my old tramp steamer? <laughs> Parker, it's not going to do you any good to hide. I'll track you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Parker, now I've got you, and that disguise isn't going to do you one bit of good. Oh, no, sir, couldn't I apologize? No, get out of here. <laughs> Parker, if he's Parker, then, then I have Oh, uh, yes, yes, what is it? You're going to lose. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing we had Gargantua standing by here, huh? <laughs> nice going, old Paisan. <laughs> you, Paisan, me, Fuji. <laughs> <laughs>